All right, what's up? Here we are. This is the first video um, for the summer. I'm going to put this up here for you guys to understand. I'm going to go through some of the vocabulary, all right? Basically, this is the first part of your statistics course, the first lecture I'm going to give you. I want to straighten out a bunch of the vocabulary right off the bat. The course is called statistics. Statistics, what I call it, is the study of variability. The variability meaning the differences uh, around in the world. People have different heights, different interests, different music preference. Those are all variable. These, these things vary, okay? So all these, uh, it's variable because it varies. The things that we measure are actually called variables. We'll get to that later on. But variability is these differences amongst things that we measure, okay? Whether it's uh, all these different things we'll talk about. But basically, statistics, the study of the, the statistics, the subject, is broken down into two major categories, inferential and descriptive. First half of the course, we're going to be doing all descriptive. The second half of the course, we'll be doing inferential. Here's the difference. Descriptive statistics is just taking some statistics and talking about them. Basically, here's some data I collected, and here's what I saw. Here's a picture of it. Here's the average of all the data. Here's the average test score, or most people like um, sausage pizza. Okay, like these are, these are, this is doing just descriptive statistics, describing what you see. The next part of it is called inferential statistics, and that's a little bit different. That's doing this. That's me going out pretty much and taking a sample and asking a bunch of people and using the information I gather from that sample to make an inference to say something about an entire population. So it's taking like a little sample of data and then using that sample to say something about the population of, as a whole. And that's, that's inference. It's like I'm looking at this stuff and I'm pretty sure that this is true. I'm making an inference about all this stuff based on this little bit of stuff. Uh, so inferential statistics is like, you know, when you want to, you're making soup, you, you know, you don't have to take, you, don't, you know, you just go into the soup and you, and you take like a, a little taste of it, mm, and you make an inference that the soup is going to be pretty good. That's inferential. That's going to be the second half. So um, basically, what we deal with in this um, class is we study this stuff called data. And data is just any gathered information, like heights, preferences, hair color, eye color. There's a couple different types of data. We'll get into that a little bit later. Um, the big thing right off the bat is the difference between these two words right here, population and sample, okay? Population is the whole entire body of stuff that you're interested in. So um, your population might be South High students. If I'm interested on, you know, the favorite uh, lunch preferences of South High students, I could ask all South High students. That's my population of interest. Um, so I'm not interested in the entire population of students in the world. My population of interest that I'm interested in that, in that case is South High students. Um, that's different than this, a sample. If I'm interested in all South High students, which would be my population, I might just take a sample of a few South High students, get their opinion, what they feel, and use that information from the sample to say, well, this sample says this, then I can kind of make an inference about the population, all South High students. So I don't actually have to go and ask every South High student. But what we do is deal with a lot of samples in this course, and we often take samples because our population of interest is large. We're interested in large populations. Even all South High students, what day can you go and ask everyone at South High something because they're not ever there. You know, so many people are absent. Um, so often we'll use this thing, this sample. So suppose I'm curious as to the, you know, um, the average height of a South High freshman. Um, I could either A, measure the height of all freshmen, or, and find the average height. Or I could just take a small sample, a random sample, we'll talk about that later, a freshman. Either way, um, I'll get this idea of what it is. If I take the entire population, measure them all, I'll actually get the exact average height. And that exact average height, if I measure them all, it's called the parameter. So if I go to the population of interest, which for me right now is all South High freshmen, that's my population of interest, and I actually measure everyone in that population, and I calculate the average height, that average is called a parameter. So when you take information from all of the population and you make a calculation, some numerical summary of the entire population, that's called a parameter. And it comes from a population. Parameters come from population. But suppose instead I took the entire list of freshmen and I randomly chose the first, you know, I randomly chose one, one of the first five freshmen and I took every fifth freshman. So I took one out of every five freshmen, every fifth on the list, the entire list, okay? So I took 20, I took a sample of 20% of the entire population. I took a sample and I calculated the average of my sample. That average is actually called a statistic now. So if I take a bunch of data from a sample and calculate something, it's called a statistic. Statistic. If I take the entire population and calculate like the average, that's called the parameter. 
So it's just a different word for the number you calculated. So the, your numerical summaries that you do in this, that you calculate in this course, like the maxes, the mins, the means, the medians, the modes, those mins, maxes, medians, and modes are either parameters if you gathered it from the entire population you're interested in, or they're statistics. So when you gather information from the entire population, that's called a census, okay? And you can do that. Like if I want to know, okay, what kind of pizza do we want to get for my family? I don't take a sample from my family and ask, you know, a sample of two out of the five in my family to ask them and use that to make an inference what the entire family would do. No, I take a census. What does everybody want? Okay, and I order that pizza. So a census does make sense with small populations. But if I want to know teenagers in the USA, how they feel about, you know, Justin Bieber, I'm not going to find every single teenager and ask them. I can get a pretty good clue if I take a random sample of a few hundred teenagers to say I can make an inference about what most teenagers think. So that's just the, the bottom line. Remember, you have this whole entire thing that's called a population. That's what you're interested in. Sometimes you pick out of that population a little sample. If you do make a calculation from the entire population, that calculation is called a parameter. If you take a sample and you make a calculation, that sample is called a statistic. Okay, so just make sure you get those things. Statist the study of statistics, statistics is a course that studies variability, but a statistic, if you're going to use that terminology, a statistic is actually a numerical summary of some sort of sample. Sample, statistics, population, parameters. We use statistics to make inferences about parameters. So basically, you take a sample, calculate a statistic, and try to use that statistic to kind of guess what the parameter is. That process is called inference, and you'll get to that later on. So that's our first little video. Hopefully, they made it, a little bit of this vocabulary make some sense. We're going to get down to the different types of data and stuff like that, and I'm going to go through all the summer vocabulary, and hopefully it will make sense to you. Again, statistics is the course. Inferential statistics is when you take a sample and make an inference about a population. You take a sample statistic, like if I calculate the average height of a small sample, and I say, well, the average height is 5'8 of this sample, so I imagine the population is the parameter is probably somewhere around 5'8 also. That's inference. Descriptive statistics is just taking statistics and making a pretty picture, like a histogram or bar chart. That's, you know, that's descriptive statistics, calculating the mean, the median, the mode, all that stuff. That's descriptive statistics. Um, data is the stuff you, count, you, you gather, the information. You have populations are the big thing you're interested in. Sample is a little piece you take from that population of interest. Like when I was asking my family what kind of pizza they want, my population of interest is just my family. Um, parameters, statistics, census. That's it right now. Have a good day.